Hey everybody, tonight we're going to be talking about general update number 9. Uh, these are the last 5 pieces that I've purchased. Uh, if you remember about a week ago I did general update number 8, that was the previous 5 pieces. I've gotten behind in my general updates and I'm trying to get caught up, so these are the latest 5 pieces. Um, this will be just like the last time. I'm going to link to each one of these has their own review that I've already completed. There'll be a link in the comments to each review and that's where you'll find all the detailed information. But tonight, we're just going to have a look at this and my feelings and thoughts after having these for a few weeks. Some of them for maybe a month or so, but um, we're not taking things apart, measuring them or weighing them. We're just going to be talking about them and I'll, uh, I'll try to entertain you. So please, stick around. We'll try to have some fun and I'll try to keep it brief. Okay, let's move on. Get the decorations out of the way. And we'll be doing these, I guess, in this order. It's the order that they came in. Okay, so let's get these guys out of the way temporarily. This was, uh, I called it, just called it the Mechanical Slider with Teflon and Titanium by Tyviva EDC. And it was initially 37 bucks. They still have them. Uh, price went up to 42 bucks though and mine runs particularly well but that's because I modified it pretty much uh, not with the stuff they provided me either uh, if you, you might want to watch my original review video on this if you want to see detailed instructions but I put in some shorter springs that were a little stronger and uh, I believe I also put in three millimeter uh, oh, what are they POM balls, plastic balls, rather than the uh, metal or ceramic, other the other options. And that got working really well for me. And of course it has a lanyard hole that works with uh, my little lanyard clip. But uh, other than that, I've really grown to like this. But I have to warn you that when you get it, it's it may not perform quite as well as mine appears to. So, um, yeah. There's your warning. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is, I call it the three-level mechanical pendant slider. Now, that part comes out, I'll show you a little closer in a second, but that was just my description of it. What it's really called is the Huang Chai, or the Huang Tsai. Uh, I didn't pronounce it correctly in my initial review video, so that is probably the correct pronunciation. And I don't know if it's a direct translation of, uh, it's also called or known as the carry-on. So I have, uh, and it's by YOLO Studios, and I've said that I think this might be the, the best made three-level mechanical slider that I've encountered. And I still stand by that. Um, the one thing about this is it does have a quite a long travel distance. So if you're a person with small hands, you might have some issues. Um, so I am going to um, just warn you about that and the fact that it is a little heavier in titanium than it is in the other versions. It does come in polycarbonate and it does come in uh, PEI. Uh, that would mean these main parts that you see here are titanium, other, they would otherwise be uh, PEI or polycarbonate, and those would be a lot lighter. But uh, watch my review on this and you'll see it's just a little too easy, I think. I wouldn't want to put this around my neck and risk losing it because it doesn't take much of a jolt when it's hanging around. Like I had it on a ball chain that it came with for the test. I hung it from the camera and uh, when I dropped it just two inches, it would open up far enough that this could likely fall out. So. Um, you know, use that at your own risk. That's, I don't, I'm gonna call it a gimmick. It's, 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 a, it's a beautiful idea. And it probably works great with those two lighter plastic versions. Um, but I, I would be afraid again with the titanium one. Otherwise, yeah, best made, best designed, three levels, so very small, smooth travel, long travel. Um, these are the metal original balls and springs that came in it, just love it. Um, there is a fancy version of this that can be pretty expensive that has some inlaid uh, brass and uh, copper, I think. But uh, yeah, Yolo Studios. I paid $86 for it from INS Works, and um, right now INS Works still has them, and they're up to 88 bucks. And I think if you shop around, you can find them elsewhere too. 
uh, you might be able to find a better price. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, let's move on to the Starry by Dom EDC. This is another special one to me because it has a unique texture to it. There's two ways you can set it up with four balls, two here, two here. And if you only use two, I forget if you get 10 clicks, I think it was 10, either direction. And if you put in the other two, you get an alternating click. It's just like when one ball drops on one side, the other one's on a peak, and they bounce back and forth in like this great symmetry that just feels good, sounds good. I really like it, really like it. There were some issues with this. If you want to get one of these, you ought to watch the review video that I did. Um, um, just an issue where it clicks a little bit too far in one direction than it does the other. I consider it to be sort of a design fault. But I still love this thing, and I think it was worth the price I paid. INS Works is where I bought this initially. And unfortunately, they're out of stock, so I can't provide a link. Um, what I did can tell you, though, is if you, if you get on Ali AliExpress and look around, search for DOM EDC. D-O-M space E-D-C. And you'll see a few of these come up. Um, and I think they were about the price. I think 62 is what I paid for this. And I think the high price I saw when just looking for DOM EDC was around $86. So, and it is still available in, it appears to be available in, um, what, five different uh, materials, not five different materials, but um, stainless steel, PEI, and then maybe three or four colors of G10, but uh, really nice. People like it a lot. The other thing about this was it is very, now this is particular to the stainless steel version. It's very... It's very susceptible to damage if you drop it. There are some parts in here. I'll try to show you just quickly. I don't want to go over it all over again. But there's a very thin-walled piece of metal here on both sides. And if you drop it like I did, um, it can bend. This could get stick on, sticky on you. If you drop it badly enough like I did, it'll completely come off the track because the track is, has such thin little rails. And... Uh, I, I nearly damaged a Teflon, but somehow I got really lucky and I was able to put this thing right back into good shape. And I ended up making a video about that. So um, I'll link that below, and uh, along with my initial review of this. And that was uh, that would definitely be uh, worth watching, just for uh, for sake if you have the stainless steel one. Like I've, I've asked some friends that have one of these in G10 and they they say they don't see these little these little things down here so these thin walls and uh, slots that I talk about in my review so that's probably not a big issue with this one but the fact that that Teflon is so thin right there means that this top part could potentially pop off if it lands hard enough like when it's open and it lands hard enough on this surface it would want to pry this off so I just find that this design's a little bit fragile and a little bit flawed. But, uh, you know, watch my original video if, you're, if you want to go that deep. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. And that would be the Lucky Ballad 3-Level Mechanical Slider by Kais, K-A-I-S, EDC. This one I paid 123 that was a good price at the time, um, and now they've gone up to about 140 bucks. I bought mine at Tiger e Tiger H E D C. It was a little while ago, but I guess as stock goes down, I notice a lot of these sellers do take advantage of the fact that stock's going down, and they they bump the prices up. So sometimes it does pay to get something uh, a little early on, and then you don't know how many they're going to make. Um, Watch my video if you want details on this, but the way I have it set up is a very simplistic way of setting it up. I'm only using these detents you see right here and right here. There's a whole ring of detents that you can't see underneath both of these sides in here. And then not only that, but a set of four springs and balls to run on, the, on that track. And I don't have any of those installed. I'm just using one spring and one ball on either side because that's what I prefer. This one, that gives me nice individual clicks. I get six and six. And if you're flexible enough, you can sort of move it around. If you have really big hands, this would be a good one for you. My main warning with this is that it's only available in stainless steel. And um, 
but a variety of finishes, surprisingly, but it's only available in stainless steel and it's awfully heavy. It's the heaviest piece I have. Um, nothing you'd want to throw in your pocket, I don't think. Uh, a fifth pocket, maybe, pocket watch pocket, but uh, it actually wears your hand out, wears your arm out a little bit if you're not and you're not sitting in a good, relaxed position. But I found uh, I found different ways to use it, and and I really like it. I like it. it. It it is a bit difficult for me to use, and I'm used to a different product. Now this is this is the Lucky Ballad by Caius, and uh, it says enjoy it all the time on this side. I don't think I mentioned that in my review, but enjoy it all the time. A very similar slider is the Cashew, Mechanical Cashew by uh, Gal, or yeah, Gal Studio. And it's six clicks in both directions, but it's a single layer. And you can see it's similar construction, not, not identical. And um, this one's just a suggestion for you if you find this one to be a little bit too too hard to, to wield around and to hold on to and to manipulate. Um, you'll probably like this one a lot better. Uh, and I like both of these, regardless of the weight on this one, I like them both better than I do. Are you familiar with the ones that, that fan out? I think I have a picture of one I'll put up here quick. Um, that one's made by, who is that? J, D, G, J, D, I'll put it up here. But um, I like that idea, but I think I want to stick with something that doesn't look like a fan and have that length of a fan because it just seems to get in the way. And there's, there's a few other uh, sliders that do this kind of arc motion and they usually involve a fan shape that's, that's bigger than these two. So it's got that going for it. Um, yeah, watch through a video for, for a more detailed explanation of of the workings, if you're curious, because that's that's where things get a little complicated. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, last up, the three level. I call it the three level hybrid pivot slider V2, because I had something. Now this is from Tyviva, and everything they do is in titanium, and um, you can see it says Tyviva on there, and uh, so does the other one. I'm not 100% sure which one came out first, but to me, this one came out second, so I was calling it the V2. Got to pick something. This is the V1. They are identical. If you watch my review on this, you'll see I, I do a pretty good comparison of these two, but they're identical except for this outer, these outer shells. And um, like I said, I got this one first, and it's, it's nice, it works well, but I find that this one works a lot better for me because it has more squared at, squared off edges and a little bit more of a thickness, overall thickness to these top two plates. That makes it a little bit easier for me to manipulate it when I'm, when I'm doing the pivot trick, which I do like this. I mean, I've, I've seen other people do it different ways, but uh, that's how I do it. And unfortunately, uh, neither of these, these both came from Tyviva and neither, well no, this one's made by Tyviva, but it, it didn't come from the Tyviva store. Um, we can assume they're both made by Tyviva. And um, where was I headed with that? Um, let me pause here a sec. Okay, I had to gather my thoughts there. Um, what I wanted to say was about availability. And uh, like I said, this one is just not available anymore anywhere. It will show up used eventually on, on uh, AliExpress, and I've had a decent experience buying used products. I've bought a lot of these used on AliExpress. Um, I'm sure that'll turn up again. These you can still find um, if you look around. I, I searched Tyviva, tried different search terms related to, to sliders and stuff, mechanical, everything. Um, you'll find it, but it, since there's only a few left, they're jacking up the prices. I paid about $59 for this one with the spider on it and uh, Just for comparison the only one that you can get your hands on now is the v1 what I call the v1 and It was a it was only now These were both around 50 bucks. I think but now this one is 80 bucks to 97 dollars 
So yeah, the price, they jacked the price up on that puppy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry that you can't find these anywhere right now, but at least you'll have some information from me about them if they turn up again. In other news, let's talk about this thing. Um, what did I call this? Well, I'm going to have to put it up on screen here because I forgot what it was called. But it was from Tiger HEDC. It is a three-level mechanical slider using a special shaped spring. It's not a standard size spring. Um, Material-wise, this is also sort of a hybrid material slider. Plastic interior, stainless steel exterior. Came in titanium, stainless, about 80 bucks, I think. I love this one. I just love the way it feels. Unfortunately, right after I did my video, at least two viewers got a hold of me and said, hey, my springs broke, or one of the springs broke. Um, so like I said, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sad to hear that. I hope that the Tiger HEDC fixes that for you. And the response I got was that um, they contacted Tiger HEDC, and Tiger HEDC said, oh, we'll give you more springs, but you have to buy something else. And I think that's just, they don't know better. Um, they don't know how to set up a separate charge for something like just the springs, and they're not willing to do it. And I can tell, because I've been chatting with them and through the translator on AliExpress, that there's a bit of a language barrier there, and it's, it's, it's proving to make things difficult. But they did make the offer. They said, hey, next time you place an order, they even showed me a picture, we'll send these uh, extra springs to you. So, and I, I, I wrote back and said, I'm not really interested in anything right you that you have right now. Um, I said, I'm sure I will be, and I'm sure I will actually, because Tiger HEDC has been a really good store, and they have some interesting stuff always popping up. Um, I asked them to please hold those springs for me until I can buy something else, and they agreed to hold the springs. So, I will keep you informed on that. Right now, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I'm using the I'll, the, the two extra hard springs that came with this, um, which I actually took those springs and put them under a flame and, uh, and made them a lot softer than they ought to be. But they were way too hard uh, initially. Uh, but it does come with two soft springs and two hard springs. Uh, the soft springs are what I'm after. Uh, hopefully the replacement springs will hold up better than the initial set did. And I think that pretty much covers it for this evening. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.